Now we will learn about the sorting algorithms. So sorting algorithms are used to arrange the array of integers or other databases according to certain criteria. So the main example of sorting algorithm is that of dictionary. In dictionary, there are many terms that are sorted according to alphabetically. So other examples we can use in our daily life is computer and web-based applications. So in computer, we know there is an application of sort when we sort the arrangement of the files. So it's, it's sort on the basis of date, size of files, modification, and etc. And there are many other applications we use in our daily life. So many sorting algorithms have been developed with the passage of time. So we can see there are many sorting algorithms we are using nowadays. And there are many types of organisms we can see. These types include bubble sort, selection sort, insertion sort, merge sort, quick sort, heap sort, counting sort, radix sort. So this, this is not the end of the list. There are many other sorting algorithms. So now we will see the classification of the sorting algorithms. So first parameter of this classification is time complexity, which is a measure of rate of growth time taken by an algorithm with respect to input size. Some algorithms will be relatively faster than others. Second is space complexity or memory usage. Some sorting algorithms are in place and use constant amount of extra memory. In place means they use the high memory space and they use the storage data and memory usage that grows with input size. Third is the stability. To explain this, we have to consider the following numbers. So here we have the array of some integers 6, 4, 8 and 6. If we want to sort it in the increasing order, we can sort it and after the sorting we will get definitely 4 is in the first place then there will be 6 and again 6 and then the highest integer 8. Here we can see in the original array we have two sexes. One is red colored and the other is green colored. So after the sorting in by using the sorting algorithm we see that after sorting we got the 6 that is green colored before the 6 that is red colored. So in the original array the 6 color the 6 with the red color is in the first place before the green color 6 but in this one green is the place before the 6 one. So actually stability of the sorting algorithm means that despite of this one that is might be the correct one but the stability means that we should get the 6 which is red colored 6 before the green color 6 because the 6 here is placed after the red color 6. So if we got this type of sorting so we can say that the algorithm is stable. This is also correct but with reference to this one this is not correct one. So next parameter is location of the record. So we can see here that if we have a data set and that is using the main memory or we can say the RAM then it is said to be the internal sort algorithm and on the other hand if that process and the data sets they are using the external memory for example the external hard devices or external memories then we will call them as the external sort algorithms. So next parameter is whether it is recursive or non-recursive and it based on the method that is being used to solve the problem. So in the recursive sort algorithms two 
main algorithms that are called quick sort and merge sort they are fall in the category of recursive sorting algorithms on the other hand non recursive sort algorithms are insertion sorts and selection sorts 